to talk about black femicide because not too many people like to talk about this because you know in the wake of George Floyd uh, everybody is focused on black males and these poor boys who are being railroaded by the system which yes there are some who are being railroaded by the system and there has been many killings that were unjustified right but it's interesting to me how it's like we can't walk and chew gum at the same time and nobody wants to talk about black femicide and this article here I'm going to leave both articles in the description box if you want to read over it it has more detail than I'm going to put in the video I just wanted to make people aware of this this is a real thing black women are being killed every 5.5 hours it will be every five hours and there have been men who have been saying they wish they could make it every three or two hours right with all the nastiness and hate and vitriol on social media and in media against black women it says that at least four black women and girls were murdered per day in the u.s last year so let's see how many girls little girls and black women this is so there's 365 days in a year times four so that's 1,460 black women and girls who were killed last year. So it seems like now they are trying to actually kill more than they have last year. And every time I see a picture of girls who have been murdered, they're absolutely beautiful. They have their whole life ahead of them. I'm not saying everyone is perfect, but all I'm saying is, I mean, a lot of women, even pregnant women are being killed. I mean, it, it's always someone that they know. One thing that I wanted to focus on is this article um, and it says the man of spear isn't just white black femicide and radicalization of black male youth. This is happening currently on social media. I mean, you can go to YouTube, um, you can go to any social platform and you can see the um, I hate black women videos just come up. Uh, when I first came to YouTube, it was Tommy Sotomayor and a few others. Now there's a whole new crop, including Kevin Samuels including a guy named Red Supreme. He's on the lower tier. You may not have heard of him, but there's a new crop of men coming in, trying to pretend to be high value, trying to pretend to put young men on game. And they are spewing venom toward black women, like to the point where these men need therapy or locked up because they seem dangerous. Now you saw the shooting that happened in the subway. He is someone who was playing in the man of spear. And you're going to see more of this. And this is why I say to women specifically, you need to carry a weapon. 
at the least you can do is carry mace on you at all times have it on you at all times you can get a, a switch blade some something to keep on you um if you need to conceal and carry because you're that concerned you need to do that because i'm concerned i'm concerned about women and girls and children who are just being slaughtered for no reason because someone was having a bad Tuesday because somebody felt some type of way and instead of regulating their feelings going to get help in therapy with that or walking away and removing themselves they are deciding that they have the right to take your life they want to prey upon you because they feel like nobody cares. And it does seem like nobody cares because nobody talking about femicide. If this was any other woman, and I know there's the highest rate of femicide goes on in the Asian community, but I'm talking about here in the U.S. since everybody wants to be, you know, have a sisterhood. Nobody is putting out that black women are being killed every five hours. For can you imagine being in a room and people try and downplay this? What is the population of black women to the number of black women being killed as if those 1,460 lives don't mean shit? Can you imagine 1,460 bodies drawn out in your neighborhood just laying on the grass laying in the parking lot laying in the front yard just everywhere i think that visual will help you understand the magnitude of this and this is just women being killed by their partners we're not even getting into uh black women and how they're treated in the medical community and in every other area and just specifically dv itself but but this is this rhetoric coming from the manosphere. I really honestly, truly believe that they kicked it off. And this is something that I noticed when I first came to YouTube. I remember leaving a comment and I said, you know, just hearing the nastiness and the disgusting language of these men and the things that they say, someone is going to hear it. And someone is going to take it too far and people are going to get killed. And you see that happening today. And all I can say is, you know, these men are on here saying this because other men in sales, I won't even call them men. They're not men, they're males and they're in sales. They feel some type of way and they are listening to this rhetoric which is only for you to hit their cash app. They don't give a fuck about these men. They just want the money that comes from it. They want super chats and cash apps and whatever Patreon money at the expense of the life of a black woman or a black little girl. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think. Um, share any stories about black femicide that you have go ahead and let me know what you think about the man of spear and their rhetoric and how this connects to black femicide and i will see you in the next one